So Jennifer. So Jennifer, I got this new washer and dryer from my first home, and I think it's shrinking my clothes a little bit. Oh no, Brian, that's terrible. What are you gonna do? Well, I gave them a call. They were super <laughs> helpful, but they couldn't understand why it was happening. As it turns out, it was a refrigerator that was doing that. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jennifer Eichler, and I'm the Chief Development Officer for Eichler's Home. I currently work in Business Marketing, HR, and Team Development. And good morning, Slow. My name is Brian Eichler. I'm the Vice President in charge of Builder Sales, Appliance Purchasing, and Merchandising. As Jen mentioned, this month is Eichler's 70, 70th anniversary, and we've been doing business here in Salem, Smithville, which started with our grandparents, and Bud and Eichler, in 1954, with a small store up on Upper Monterey. Our grandfather Bud was studying poultry science at Cal Poly and repairing washing machines on the side when he decided to start either appliances. At that time, he sold and delivered and serviced residential and commercial laundry machines in San Luis Obispo and the surrounding areas. In the early 60s, we moved to Brownsville, where the Big Sky Cafe most recently operated, and we introduced kitchen appliances to our mix, and our business started to grow. Our father, Don Iver, along with his five siblings, all worked in the business, and we established our company's motto, House that Service Built. It wasn't always easy, but if it wasn't for the hard work and determination of those early years, we most certainly wouldn't be standing here today. Since then, we have grown tremendously. We have four retail storefronts. We offer furniture, mattresses, hot tubs, barbecues, cabinets, kitchen design, and of course, appliances. We have 100 team members that we call spokes, spokes in the wheel, that are all part of this tradition and community. We stress the importance of shopping with local businesses and consider it an honor to be able to provide our products and services to our neighbors and friends. You're right, Jennifer. Local business is everything. And thanks to organizations like the Slow Chamber of Commerce, we feel as connected as ever. Our business has been able to stand the test of time thanks to the personal connections we've made with a lot of you in the room. Thank you for your support and willingness to give us the opportunity when we know it can be easy to think that the national retail chains will have better prices and availability. What about our price match promise? We will match prices with those big box stores, and we use digital price tags in our stores, so we seek out those competitors, price anyways, plus you always get our expertise in signing face. <laughs> Speaking of digital price tags, adopting new technologies in our retail space is absolutely essential in staying competitive. Having a fully capable website that can meet your customer through your offerings, include correct pricing, up-to-date physical inventory, live chat, and full checkout and payment options is an absolute must. Think of your website as a base. The first thing we all look at, oftentimes, is the deciding factor in the sales process. You are absolutely right. And with the Eilerson website, we are able to tell our full story, showing not only the products and brands we carry, but also the services that we offer. I also love the way you can request a repair directly from the site and have one of our in-house service technicians out lick you split. We sure wish those plans just lasted forever, right? And didn't break, but at least we have the peace of mind knowing that the place you bought them from will back you up. As we look into the future, we maintain our current trajectory, which has always been centered around slow and steady growth. The retail landscape for appliance and furniture is maintaining a flat but a slightly down year. But July was not a uptick of 1% in consumer spending. We were taught from a young age to take care of pennies and the dollars of all. We opened our current Santa Maria location right in July of 2020, after three years in a smaller location so we could understand better how the community operated. We find it best to test the market in this way. Sometimes it takes eight to 10 years for people to realize that we have a new store, since the buying cycle for what we sell is often not long. Being able to quantify our market share within the county's got rate and evaluate the trends has been key to the success of our business. Jennifer, I couldn't agree more. And I know we could go on and on like this all day. <laughs> but you guys don't want to see Dantona playing an empty Pepsi Zero <laughs> Yeah, um, I think our time is up. We certainly are done with our promise to serve our community with honesty and integrity for hopefully another 70 years. Thank you to the chamber and thank you community members. We sure uh, we sure couldn't have done it without you.